Hi guys, now in this video I'm going to address the question is the Lucy drawing tool worth it? Or what is the Lucy drawing tool? Okay, now the Lucy drawing tool is a modern version of the camera Lucidia drawing tool which was used to two to three hundred of years ago by artists who wanted to create correct proportions and perspective in their drawings and paintings. So if you are a beginner and you want to develop those aspects of your drawing and maybe your painting, this tool may aid you in that sort of process. But before you can do that, there are sort of quite a few varied sort of questions people have about how to use this tool, how to set up the Lucy, and maybe many of the sort of uh, issues that people experience when they're using it. So here we go. So here we have the Lucy drawing tool set up in front of you on a long table. Let's just talk about the quality of what you'll actually get. Now the Lucy drawing tool is made of fiberglass polycarbonate. So it is quite tough. It's not plastic. It's not brittle. It doesn't seem as if it's going to break apart very easily and there is a mirror in the middle of it. Okay, so this obviously is the lens of the draw, Lucy drawing tool. And what you need to do with that when you receive it is just connect it through here and it can be connected in different ways. The, obviously, the, the joints here that you can see are pretty secure. Okay. Now, what you need to do with your Lucy drawing tool is set it up on a table. And there are obviously different ways in which you can do that. put that down. One of the many sorts of questions people have is the flexi arm. Does it stay in place? Does it move about? Now I think this is one of the uh, good points about the Lucid Drawing Tool. That this arm, this flexi arm, does actually stay in place when you're actually drawing. And the clamp is made of very robust materials. It doesn't move at all. It really does clamp to tables. So you can move this over to any position that you like, really. Have your subject set up in front of you. Now what I've got here is a head, which what I want to do is just look at that and try to draw it. Now, when you draw with a loose drawing, so what you need to do is basically look through the lens and what I've done here. Okay, now the Lucy drawing tool is basically a tracing device or a camera lucidia which was um, a tool of which the old masters used basically to get the proportions and their drawings correct so they would obviously have their subject in front of them and they would check the perspective and the relative proportions of the things that were in front of them and draw them onto the paper just to make sure they were accurate and uh, drawn correctly so what this helps you to do basically is just to create an accurate image. Now, once you've got your tool set up to the correct height and you're comfortable with what you're drawing and it's not moving about, you can then begin the process of drawing. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm pretty comfortable now. I'm sat in the seat, I'm at the correct height and I can see my subject. So what I want to do, basically, is just look at that subject. One eye. Right, now what you can notice now is the subject set up in front, which is obviously this head form, this human bust here, and the Lucy drawing tool set in place over the table. Now what you need to do with your tool is just, and you can just recognize here now as you look through the lens, is the ghost image that you see when you're actually drawing here, which you can just make out. Now, what I would say here, 
you have to get the loosely drawing tool at a comfortable height if you intend to draw with it, as you can see here. Now, at this sort of position, I would be bending over and looking into the, uh, the opening on the loose drawing tool here. It would just seem a little bit awkward, but you do get a very clear ghost image, as you can see. Okay, now in this stage of video, I'm going to work on the different lighting conditions and see how that affects the drawing. You will also notice that I have moved the subject closer to the actual Lucy Drawing Tool, which means that from a quite small image on the page, we should be able to create a fairly large image of this size. So it's doubled in size, removing it from here to here. So it's not a huge image. So obviously if you're drawing scenes that are far further away from you, it may work in a different way. Now, when you're drawing, you do get a little bit of light, a bit, little bit of light, I would say, coming through. So it's very important with your eye, and you can't do this when you're wearing glasses, is that you really get a close up to the subject, and that blocks the light out. So you close one eye, and you look very closely into the lens. Now, if you move out, there's a little bit of light shining through which distorts the ghost image. So it does feel uncomfortable. So I would say it's not the, the most comfortable way to trace an image. If you're looking for different ways to trace, you can look at my other video here, which is using a light pad in different ways to create drawings. But uh, in this video, so you can just click that in a moment, this video, we're gonna focus on drawings of different sizes. So really close in. So, so, so you can see this image at the moment. I'm going to use a dark pen. Now, again, it doesn't feel as comfortable. A little bit of strain. Okay, now in this stage of the video, I want to talk about how to actually clamp the drawing tool, the loose drawing tool to a an easel. Now this is a standard lightweight easel with a drawing board. The loose drawing tool is being clamped to the top of the easel, as you can see here. It's very secure. There's no movement. The flexi arm is in place and there's no moving about. Now the awkward thing about this, I feel, is obviously your subject. Now when you're looking through here, there's a slight dip in the neck. It's not very comfortable. And when you're drawing your subject, it's some way down here to here, which gives you the whole of that. So it's not exactly in front of you. So it doesn't feel like as if you're drawing in the sort of vertical upright position that you should be when you're on an easel. So there is the awkwardness of looking through and then drawing what you see. So what I'm going to try and do here is just do a sort of gestural drawing from what I see here and just respond to what I see as I'm drawing. So this is a sort of irregular natural form, a plant form that we can see. So I'm not aiming to create a exact representation but just really to respond to the subject quickly, some sort of gestural line or continuous line, which is coming through. So it's a quick process. So again, keeping your eye on the subject as you draw. Now, I can see the subject, because I'm using quite a dark line, I can see my subject quite clearly at this sort of position. It does feel pretty comfortable, actually. But for me personally, the image is far too close down. So there's a sort of awkwardness with the process of drawing with this tool. It sort of comes off the page. It's getting very low now. And you will notice with this particular drawing, when contrasted with the one I did earlier. The subject is further away. 
So it enables you to produce a larger image. So if you're wanting to trace onto a canvas or a board, it will help you. But it does, on the whole, I would say, seem a little bit awkward. Now, for me personally, if I was drawing a landscape scene or I was outside, I think it'd be a lot better for drawing something that's in the distance and it would feel a lot more comfortable and you would be able to get a more finished type of image. So can you use the Lucy, use the Lucy drawing tool on an easel? 50-50 for me, it's a little bit awkward. You can produce larger images. It is stable, it doesn't move about, but you've got to get it in the right position and there's a lot of fussing around with different things. Obviously for me, the image is too low. Now it may, be better for people to work at a slight angle with a board as they're drawing. But the higher you bring your paper up, you do tend to block the lens. So the lens does need to be not above that sort of level, really, because it blocks what you're drawing. Okay, so that's using the Lucy drawing tool with an easel, and that finishes my sort of uh, answering questions about this tool. It, this isn't a sponsored video. If you're interested in looking at some other drawing tools that I've reviewed, such as uh, LCD light pads or the camera Lucidia app on the phone, just have a look at my other videos at the end of this one. Thank you for watching.